Hello everyone, welcome back to Software Testing with Jamil and today I'm going to show you some mortgage calculations so uh, there's few uh, type of mortgages you get so you get the standard capital repayment and interest where you pay the capital and the interest on the mortgage the loan amount borrowed and then you got the interest only where you just pay the interest and at the end of the term so when your mortgage term ends you just pay the whole uh, lump sum or the third one which uh, it's not really used for the residential mortgages but used for the uh, commercial mortgages uh, is the interest roll up which is similar to equity release where you borrow the money and you get the compound interest so the every month or year the interest keeps on adding up to it and then eventually end of the term so you pay interest and the total amount you borrowed at the start but during the term you pay nothing so a uh, quite helpful especially if you're investing and make an investment so it saves you all the money in front end so obviously and then you just pay the whole including the interest on there but there's a compound interest so let's start off with showing you how the capital repayment is done i mean the capital repayment is quite easy you could use the um, excel function itself to calculate rather than doing a long calculations so let's just say we borrow fifty thousand over uh, 10 years or oh, well we got the uh, interest rate so that's say 4.5 interest rate over 10 years uh, so that's our in short that's our um, mortgage so um, using a PMT function so it's PMT and then you do uh, so you do the rate because it's 12 months divide that by 12 and then the next is the uh, the months so the term number so that's 10 but remember it's uh, that's the years uh, I mean uh, and you times that by 12 so that gives you the total and then you got the actual uh, amount you're borrowing so principal amount uh, I mean we get because that's credit sorry that's credit uh, we're gonna put minus in front of it so that should give you the amount oops that giving us 18,750 so what has gone wrong here oh yes what it is here is that I think it's the interest rate here now we put down 4.5 so it just it doesn't take you the percentage so there's a two ways of doing it like I said the first way is you could just put that 100 there and that obviously tells you divide by 100 so it gives you the total interest whereas Excel is quite clever so rather than doing all this what you have to do is you can put percentage and that gives you the same amount and again with the with the years you can do actually uh, with the term you can also do like for example a uh, 120 right and then take that off and that gives you the same so Excel is quite clever in working that out that it's not going to be 120 years so therefore it just gives you that term in 12 months so let's just do the principal amount if I could spell it principal amount so that's principal amount that's the interest interest rate and that is your term so that's the term of your mortgage and that gives you the monthly CMI so that's capital and interest repayment so right guys that's your capital and interest repayment I mean you can use go through manually now but you know as simple as that you don't need to really calc uh, Excel gives you the quite powerful calculations to let you do that without having to you know back, uh, break your back so that is that and especially if you're testing like myself it's quite helpful uh, the other one uh, if you remember I already showed you a video you could see in the description about interest only but um, let's just show you that again so if I do I mean we take the same example so we say the principal amount is that's the capital let's just call it capital amount is so the capital amount is if I can't spell for a starters okay so the capital amount is again uh, for consistency we'll keep a 50,000 interest 
interested your interest is 4.5 I mean uh, you can't put a year at term time but it doesn't really matter because term time is just when your finish mortgage finishes but really all we care about is how many days they are in a, a year so you can I mean let's say they are 365 days or at the moment they are 366 this year so uh, days in a year and that's all you need really so uh, let's just turn that into a percentage rather than dividing by 100 let's just turn that into a percentage let Excel do all the magic for us so let's just so interest only repayment so let's just say repayment of in so this is going to be interest only right so for that it's quite simple and straightforward so you do that times times that which is the uh, interest rate divided by number of days in a year that gives you the interest daily interest so I think what we need to add is let's just say a number of days so number of days in a month so days in a month so I say the moment we're in October which has 31 days so now that is let's call that daily interest interest and this will be your monthly interest also your repayment amount so obviously that changes depending on days in a month so you'll have a, for example on account you'll have a diary which will do that how many days you have in a month so once you've done that so you do that times that that's your interest only so it's it's a lot of difference here so I mean if you have a look so you got here 518 compared to 190 the only thing is obviously your interest gets paid you know over time your SRE repayment gets paid so end of 120 months you have nothing left and over the here end of 120 months you'll still be uh, sorry you'll still be having 50,000 pound to repay so yeah that's the only difference but again if you're if you haven't got the money or you want to use somewhere else for investment purposes it's quite useful uh, and as for testing purposes that's as simple as it is so let's just call interest interest only okay so that and the third one which is quite interesting again let's just uh, copy them two right uh, oops so again we got the same amount same interest um, again it's um, the difference is uh, this time you, for roll up you're not paying anything whatsoever in a month so your monthly payment doesn't really matter but say for example here so again we just uh, copy I mean uh, let's just copy the whole lot so let's just copy the whole lot so that right for example for this month it gives you interest of 190 so what you would do so that's a month one so let's say uh, let's make a time table here so that's, you're starting off with that so uh, your capital at the start is that uh, which is let's just say that 50k uh, now so your month one after month one it will become say that oops that plus that right so it's 5 and 10, 19 now next month your next monthly payment will so if I do uh, let's just break it up into uh, take that off 
let's just break that up into uh, say uh, month one and you got the interest uh, no 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 ah, let's see interest uh, let's make that bigger so you can see my apologies if you can't see but you should be able to see now So, interest, so let's just take that out. So your first month interest is that, we know that already, so we could have already calculated that. Now, your, after your first month, your capital is, is that plus that. Okay, so that's your capital. Month two. Now, compared to before, it's slightly changing now. So now, because obviously your capital has changed, so for interest, you're gonna do that, not that anymore. That was the original capital. So that uh, times again. That stays the same. Okay, then divide by right about that right that's right so and then obviously at the same time you go uh, let's do times that so that gives you 191 so if you could see there's a roughly about well not pound but like 80 90p extra for a, a month so then what we do we do that plus that right as you can see 381 pound after two months been added let's just do another month month three so this time we are going to start again so that's our new capital again times the interest rate divided by days in a year oh did i put time uh, c5 oh yeah yeah divided by uh, three up that and then divided by I mean days in a month uh, oh sorry there is a days in a month yeah that's I think we'll have to add it manually so my apology let's go back to second month and interest now that one is going to change because days in a month for November are 30 right that's given it's 30 not 31 so obviously interest is going to be slightly less so let's go back so we're not going to use uh, oh, I mean we can use it for December so that's the month three we can use oops we can use uh, so let's just do that we can use that because November uh, December does have 31 days so that and uh, oh no 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 first that and then divide by that and then times that right so that gives us 192 as you could see we've gone over two pounds now same amount of days because it's compound it keeps on adding up and then you do that plus so November's second month capital after second month you add that again with the interest now that becomes so 567 being added and you go on obviously until the 20th month so if you just let's see all right it won't work but yeah so yeah that's your interest roll up i mean that's a a quick and simplified version of how to calculate it uh i'm quite useful for anybody to use to be fair but especially if you're an industry where you're using a uh, building uh, software for the banks or fintechs or companies uh, just use these formulas to calculate your interest or just for understanding really especially if you're development and testing uh, even BAs yeah so just to uh, uh, summarize so the PMT function so you have the uh, interest rate here which is 4.5% uh, that's over the year so you'll have to if, uh, generally uh, you know 
the interest calculations over a month so which you'll have to divide that by 12 so because obviously there's 12 months in a year and then obviously uh, then after that you do the actual terms the full terms uh, so that's 120 months and then the actual capital amount so don't forget the 12 there so if you don't i mean uh, it's uh, because of the term it's over 12 it's monthly so that's how it works out generally i mean obviously if it's different uh, for the mortgage then you'll have to work out but generally it's a monthly one so just to summarize remember that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this one uh, uh, as i enjoyed showing you guys and if you have any questions just drop me a message uh, in the comments and i'll try getting back to you as soon as possible and remember if you still haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe and hit that bell button so you get the latest video yeah and do share it if you like the video and i'll see you next time